All right, guys, KB32 here, check it out. We're in the Northern Studios. Wanted to do a video today talking about uh, Tim Waltz, should have fired this guy. But before we do that, I just want to give a big thanks out to people returning to the channel. It's been a while since I've done really hammered it out like I am now. I just feel it's necessary during election year that we all do our part to help the party that we are behind, or some people who are not behind e either one of the parties, and that's fine. But I'm against the lesser of the two evils. So do this. This video is about Tim Waltz having to or should have fired these individuals during the Minneapolis-St. Paul riots. And when I say that, I found this disturbing video just looking back at Tim Waltz's bullshit and all the other things. It's just, it's really, really disturbing. And I wanted to share this with you. This is a video that came out back then. And it was posted to Twitter, or Twitter, what well, Twitter, by Tanya Kirsten. Now, I would imagine that these people are not in a bad place. They're sitting on the front porch watching the police come down. They're like, oh my gosh, look at this. And, you know, they're escorted by National Guard, but it's the actual police people dressed up in full riot gear, using their paintball guns. And they literally shot these people on their front porch. I want you to watch this. This, this, is, this disgusts me. And it's the... The violence in which these people did. They're not in the hood. They're not in the ghetto. They're not in the public areas or, or big intersections where they're doing street takeovers and violence. They're walking around a residential area. If this were me, and I'll talk about it in a second. Listen to this. Watch. Oh, look, there's more. Look at this. They just keep coming. Go, go inside! Get inside! Get inside! Get inside! Get inside! Get in your house now! Let's go! Light him up! Go inside now! Get, inside Get in the house! house. Ah. Get inside. Ah. You're sitting on your front porch, minding your own damn business, in your own neighborhood. There's no riots going on. Yet these assholes, okay, and like I said, I backed the blue, but these guys should have been fired on the spot. I don't know they were. Uh, since then, do a research on this thing. No one's been fired. And this is what pisses me off. These innocent people sitting on the front porch, what's going on? So before you say something about the front porch thing, there was another comment on this video by a gentleman named ADM Thron Nuru or whatever it is. He states right here, and if there's any lawyers or anybody out there that wants to comment on this, please do, because I want to know. And I'll tell you right now, if I were sitting on my front porch and I was armed protecting my own thing, and, they, and if these guys came down, like, hey guys, and I saw some flashes coming from a, their firearms or whatever they were shooting at me, I'm seeking cover and I'm returning fire, period. That shit right there was uncalled for. For anyone wondering, it was not a lawful order. The executive order, emergency executive order 20-65 imposed curfew in all public places within the city of Minneapolis and the city of St. Paul. Public places. In which a public place is defined as any place, whether on privately or publicly owned property, accessible to the general public. Ha, <laughs> quote, unquote. The list of Examples does include driveways, but courts hold that the curtilage, I don't even know what that means because I'm just a dumb redneck from North Carolina. The curtilage is distinct from larger whole yard. In Florida versus Jardine, Supreme Court of the United States says specifically that a front porch is not public for Fourth Amendment purposes, though it has implicit public invitation only to communicate with residents. You can walk up and knock on the door, but you couldn't just walk up and sit on someone's porch all day. I take it like this. If I'm under my own roof, whether it be my covered porch or even my deck in the front yard and with the redwood, that's my property. That is, I am inside. I am within the confines of my house. And if you shoot upon me, guess what? You're going to get return fire. This shit really pissed me off. The porch is also a well-defined area within clear ownership. Ergo, <laughs> gatherings on a porch, must, much like the fenced-in yard, are private gatherings and are not covered by curfew order. Uh, and the guy goes on, sure, you can say people should follow the orders of armed and irritable police. Yeah, probably not, probably good advice for your health, but at the same token, police should follow the law. Two years later, and no cop was punished in the fact we still don't know who did it. National Guard said it was MMPD, okay, Minneapolis Police Department. It's just not right. And the end quote from this whole text message. I'll put that whole thing down below. Tell me I'm wrong. But ladies and gentlemen, this is the kind of shit that pisses me off. I, I 
cannot tell you how upset I am. Tim Walsh never got involved in it. They could shoot innocent bystanders with a freaking punt paintball gun. But that's like you saw the flash. Watch this. You see the flash right there? I don't know I'm getting shoot with paintball guns. It's in the middle of the night. But these assholes come rolling down my street, my, my personal neighborhood, which I would protect, and acting like they're this? Absolute bullshit. Tim Waltz, why didn't you fire? Why didn't you get involved in this thing? And if, if it has happened, I don't know about it. But this is the kind of stuff that really irritates and chaps my rear end. You guys let me know what your thoughts are down below. Anyway, Tim Waltz, why didn't you fire the guy? Because you're a POS, that's why. You guys get out there and vote. Vote against this tyranny. These guys want to talk about who are the fascists, yet they use the... They used the media to censor. They kicked people off of ballots because just, oh, wait a minute, he's not capable of winning without a single vote. Fascist. They're the fascists. Tim Waltz, you need to resign. You're nothing but a POS lying sack of you know what. I already said that. Sack of what is a POS, right? It's KB32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe now or don't so support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform. Not these jackasses. Because freedom's not free. And if you find people rolling down your neighborhood doing this shit right there, yeah, they don't want your freedom to be free. They're taking your freedom away. It's KB32. I'm out of here. Damn. Ugh.